Hi students, today we are going to look at the part 3 of this equator chapter. Fractional distillation under reduced pressure. So when are we going to use distillation under reduced pressure? So it's you, when we have to distill out substances that have high boiling points. A substance boil when its vapor pressure reaches the external pressure. So at room condition, when the external pressure, external pressure is one atmosphere, the boiling point is T2. So when we reduce a pressure okay, below one atmosphere, we will, we will get a lower boiling point. Okay, So the substance will be is still out at the lower temperature. What is the advantage of distillation under reduced pressure? So this is when certain organic liquids that can decompose at temperature below their boiling points at atmospheric pressure. So we need is necessary to restill the liquid at reduced pressure in order to lower the boiling point. To do this, a vacuum pump is connected to the side arm of the collection pass. This method is called vacuum restoration. So example, we have phenylamine. Phenylamine will decompose at its normal boiling point, 184 degrees Celsius at atmospheric pressure. So at the lower pressure, 6.1 kPa, phenylamine can be distilled out without decompose at 100 degrees Celsius. The figure here shows the apparatus used for vacuum distillation. Okay, let's look at the immiscible liquid mixtures. Two liquids are immiscible if the intermolecular forces of attrition between their molecules are very different. For example, tetrachloromethane and water are immiscible because water is polar molecule with hydrogen bonding, whereas tetrachloromethane is a non-polar molecule with the lower forces of attrition. In a mixture of immiscible liquids, for example, methyl benzene and water, each liquid added its own vapor pressure. The total vapor pressure of the mixture is the sum of the vapor pressure of the pure components. For a liquid mixture of A and B, they are immiscible. The total vapor pressure equal to the vapor pressure of liquid A and vapor pressure of liquid B. The total vapor pressure of a mixture of two immiscible liquid is higher than the vapor pressure of either pure liquid. As a result, the boiling point of a mixture of two immiscible liquid is lower than the boiling point of either pure liquid. When the total vapor pressure of the liquid mixture equals the external this atmospheric pressure, the liquid boils. Okay, now let's look at the fractional distillation under reduced pressure for the immiscible liquids. Huh? Figure on the left show that. The total vapor pressure of the mixture reaches the atmospheric pressure at 98 degrees Celsius, eh? okay. which is the boiling point of the mixture of nitrile, benzene, and water. Okay, next we look at steam distillation. Steam distillation is a method of distilling liquids that are immiscible with water by bubbling steam through them. 
This method is used to extract organic substance, for example, nitrobenzene and phenylamine of high boiling point and which decompose at temperature near its normal boiling point. This, the figure shows the apparatus used for sink distillation. So the sink generator is connected to the first with the uh, equipment shares. Okay, so the gas will be condensed and collect at the receiver. Composition of the distillate of steam distillation. In steam distillation, steam is passed continuously to a mixture containing water and an organic compound, which is immiscible with water. The distillate corrected consists of water and the organic compound. The composition of the distillate of steam distillation can be derived as follows. So let's say for organic compound A, using the identical gas equation, we will get PAV equal to Na of P. So PA is the vapor pressure of A, P is the volume, Na is the number of mole of A, L is the gas constant, T is the thermal dynamic temperature. So number of mole can be replaced with mass over molar mass, so you will get PAV equal to MARP divided by MA. So similarly for water, we will get PBV equal to MBRP over MB. Deriving equation 1 by equation 2, we will have the formula mass of A divided by mass of B equal to PA. M A divided by P B M B. Composition of the distillate of steam distillation. For distillation to be carried out successfully, the organic compound to be separated must be immiscible with water, must have a relatively high relative molecular mass, and must have a relatively High vapor pressure at about 100 degrees Celsius. That's all for the presentation today. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and press the notification button.